Oh, Zello made there they it, go. Or did the edit on the picture? And the game award, the game award, and the game award goes to. And the game award, the game award, the game award, the game award goes to. And the winner is. And the winner is. And the winner is. Hell yeah. Ten years ago, we began a journey together to celebrate video games as the biggest, most powerful form of entertainment in the world. And on Thursday, December 12th, right here at Peacock Theater in Los Angeles, we will recognize the best and show you what's next with the 10th anniversary of the Game Awards. It's been 10 years already. That's crazy. And welcome to the TGA Global Nomination Announcement Special. Today, it is my distinct honor to reveal this year's nominees, recognizing talented game developers from studios big and small around the world. And you can help select the winners by voting right now at thegameawards.com. All right, you've waited long enough, so let's do it. Here are the nominees for the Game Awards 2024. For best ongoing game, the nominees are... Oh, this one's always nice. Diablo 4. Oh, Destiny again. Interesting. Well, Diablo did come out this year, not Fortnite. And Helldivers, the game doesn't want... The game doesn't want to work on my um, PC. It's cool. Oh, cool. That game did come out. Ah, oh, she did really good in that game. I did play some of it. Mobile game. The nominees are mobile game. That's probably gonna win this year. People love that one. Oh, Zenless. The nominees for best art direction are. Are they gonna do all of them quickly? Cool. Cool. Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree. Okay. Metaphor Re Fantasio and Neva. For best Never. music, this year's nominees are Astrobot, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, Metaphor Refense. Yeah, Metaphor has a good soundtrack out here. Two, and Stellar Blade. Oh, Stellar Blade. Interesting. Okay. Audio design. These games are not going to be Silent Hill. Astrobot. Has to be there, right? Call of Duty Black Ops 6, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, Senua's Saga, Hellblade. That's, that one's really good. Silent Hill. Too. Yeah, I figured. Best adaptation recognizes excellence in authentically creating shows, movies, and other creative endeavors based on video game worlds. Here are this year's nominees for best adaptation. This might be Arcane, is it? Fallout. Arcane's gonna win easily. Like a dragon, Yakuza, and Tomb Raider: The Legend of. This <laughs> is a competition. Oh my god. Best narrative in a game. The TGA nominees are Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Like a dragon, infinite wealth. I heard Final Fantasy, Fantasy had a good um, story in Metaphor Saga, also. That's cool. Silent Hill Hi guys, thank you for supporting me and making your way through this video. Oh wait, my book is gone. What, what's happening, huh? Let me see. Wait, what? Are my eyes deceiving me? I'm 98% because they're watching or subscribed. What? No way. Watching my video alone is a great support and I appreciate it. Although it's not 100% you know, mandatory, I would love if everyone watching would subscribe and hit the notification bell so you guys can follow and get you know the pop up notifications that my videos are now available to you guys to watch. It helps my channel like grow like a lot and get you know out there to more people and love or more lovely mages like you guys and that potentially want you know join the school and grow up the class. Games for Impact celebrates thought-provoking games with a profound pro-social meaning or message. Here are this year's nominees. Closer the Distance, Indica, Neva, Life is Strange Double Exposure. Of course, it was pretty life strange in that. Blade 2 and Tales of Kenzera, Zao. I actually wanted to play that. Yeah. Baldur's Gate 3. Oh, oh okay. I guess Baldur's Gate is going to be in distance somehow. Best for community support. No Man's Sky. In the category of best multiplayer, the nominees are Call of Duty Black Ops 6, Hell Divers 2, Super Mario Party Jamboree. People do love that Mario Party. And Warhammer 40,000. Warhammer. What? Best independent Interesting. Celebrates games with a high degree of risk tolerance as they are produced outside of the traditional publisher system. The nominees are. Animal well. W Bullseye W. The oh, that's the game you. That's the game you play, right? What Bellatro? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
It's like um, poker. I think Los told me about it too. Oh no, the nominees are Animal Well, Animal Well, Quattro, Manor Lord, Pacific Drive, and the Plucky Squire. For best VR AR game, the nominees are Arizona. The way I don't play any VR games at all. Oh, I did hit on that Batman game though. Time to get something. For content creator of the year, the nominees are I know anyone. Queso. Okay, so. Techno gamer. Typical gamer. And Usada Pecora. Interesting. I always never know these people. <laughs> Besides Queso. Where's Carson at? I feel... Didn't they nominate him next year? He, like, won? I thought he won one these years, actually. Ah, oh, Death Stranding 2. Ghost of Yote. Grand Theft Auto 6. Metroid Prime 4 Beyond. Wait a minute, all of these are good. What the hell? The best action adventure nominees are... I don't mind any of those, to be honest. Prince of Persia, the Lost Crown. Ah, that game's to you. Silent Hill 2. Star Wars Outlaws. And... The Legend of Zelda. Echoes of Wisdom. Interesting. Well, I guess it's an adventure game. Like Fifth says really good. Dragon's Dogma 2. Elden Ring, Shadow of the Earth Tree. That's the DLC. Yeah. Like yeah, they said DLC can be nominated this year. Metaphor, uh, Metaphor is probably going to win that one, though. Best fighting. Fighting. Well, is that, isn't that part of the Persona people? Dragon Ball yeah. Sparking Zero. Grand Blue Fantasy vs. Rising. Okay. Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection Arcade Classics. The Collection? No. Tekken 8. The nominees for Best Action are... Black Myth Wukong. That one to win. Black Ops 6. Helldivers 2. Stellar Blade. And that one to win too. That's all combat. Probably gonna go to Wukong, honestly. Innovation in accessibility celebrates games that are making our Oh, the accessibility award. I love how they do this one every year. That's the cool. Of accessibility experts. The nominees for innovation in accessibility mm -hmm. are mm -hmm. Call of Duty Black Ops 6, Diablo okay. 4, Dragon Age The okay. Veil Guard, Prince okay. of Persia The Lost Crown, and okay. Star Wars. I didn't hear that game is really accessible, the um, Call of Duty one. The, the Nintendo award, basically. That game did come out this year. It is, basically. Mind you, three of them are Nintendo games they announced so far. The Plucky Squire. The Plucky Squire. The best sim strategy nominees are Age of Mythology Retold, Frostpunk 2, Kunitsugami Path of the Goddess, Manor Lord, and Unicorn Overlord. I really don't play strategy games like this. Or sports racing games. Sports FC 25, NBA 2K 20. This news is for me. Top Spin 2K 25 and WWE 2K 24. All right, let's take a look at our three esports categories. Starting with best esports game. The League, <laughs> Valorant Dragon League, Dota 2, Dota, yeah, of, Legends, of course. Mobile Legends, Bang Bang. Mobile Legends, Bang Bang. <laughs> Nominees for best like esports athlete Baker 3 3 Alexi B Chuvi Baker The way how he's gonna win this year Kong Kong And for the best esports team our special esports committee nominated these teams Billy Billy Gaming League of Legends Gen G League of Legends Navi Counter Strike T1 League of Legends T1 might take it because they won this year for the league championship. Right, it's time for our final two categories. For best when you gonna play league with me, sketchy? Uh, I make you play one day. Game direction. Honestly, honestly, I heard all these have um, amazing game direction. To be honest, so anyone of these gonna win. Finally, our global TGA jury, of which I am not a member, has selected the following six games <laughs> as the <winners laughs> of Game of the Year at oh, the that's Game funny. 2024. Because people the always say that he's a part of it. Of course. Asobi, Bellotro, from local Interesting. Black I have a launcher game today. Hey. Yeah. Elden Ring, 
Shadow of the Earth Tree by From Software. And they did say a DLC could take it this year. DLC of the year, guys. And metaphor. Metaphor. Good selection, though, I will say. Good selection. Those are your nominees for Game of the Year. And yes, that means you'll hear the Game Awards Orchestra conducted by Lauren. I love the Orchestra every year, Sketchy. It was like one of my favorite parts of the show. And you should head to thegameawards.com. To help select the winners by casting your ballot in all categories. Also, stay tuned for the announcement of our player's voice category, where fans 100% select the winner from 30 nominees. We'll Interesting. Nominees on Monday, December 2nd. The winners in all categories will be revealed live during the Game Awards when it's streamed. Oh, yeah, because there's more categories, I bet. December 12th, starting with the opening act at 7 30 p.m. Eastern. 4.30 p.m. Pacific, 12.30 a.m. I see. GameAwards.com. Our team cannot wait to share our 10th anniversary show with you. I hope to see you then. And don't forget to cast your vote. Cool. Nice. It's going to be day 12, I believe. But that was cool. Wasn't it sketchy? It's actually way shorter than I thought. Oh. <laughs> a lot of people are just spamming different, like, you know, games they want to see win in the comments, I guess. So, song at the Game Awards. So, song at the Game Awards. I've, I've been told. Copium? Song at the Game Awards. 